Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, as you know from my previous video, if you watched it, I had said I was going away for the weekend. And uh, I got back in kind of late last night. Pretty tired. It was a long drive. Um, six, seven hour drive. Because we took breaks here and there. I used to be able to make the drive in four hours without stopping, but now I can't really do that drive anymore without brakes and stretching so anyways um, got back um, while I was away I had stopped into a few stores I went into Hobby Lobby two of them um, I didn't know there was another one really close to where I was staying um, but my driving buddy she uh, did a little bit of research and she found one that was basically down the street from where we were at and uh, I also went into Michael's and Marshall's. Um, let me see. Oh, and a place called Chick Bre Ship Wreck Wreck Beads. It's in Lacey, Washington, and um, and into Pirates Plunder. Um, picked up a, three items there. Um, I don't know. I probably will have to break it all up into different videos. We'll see how long this goes. But let me get right into um, the few of the penny items that I picked up at Michael's. Uh, most of you have already seen all these items, but I found a butterfly. And this Michael's was like really clean. Uh, they, there was hardly any penny items to be found. I had to really dig to find any. Um, but I did find some good deals on some other things. Uh, but this butterfly clip from Watercolors, it's really pretty green. And then this, which has, I guess, been pinned out quite some time. It's from Modern Monogram. And I think it's a letter N. Cursive N. And then another one of these Marion Co. flower rhinestones. And then a Kitchen Classic doily, blue doily. And then I found these Hello Kitty candies. The ones with the glasses and mustaches are the only ones that are pinned out. These are sweet stashes. There was only one mustache. And then three of the ones with the glasses that are blue raspberry sours. And uh, so I got those. And um, the other items I got were just on clearance. First off were these three pin three, there's four here that are from Recollections. They're signature specials, opaque markers in blue, holly, ruby, and beet. It's like a lavender. Um, they're the only four colors left that were on clearance. They were $1.29 a piece. I almost bought two, two of each of these colors, but I didn't want to use it. It's getting, are you getting low on some money? Um, and then I found some more of these quick cuts. This one's the sun. And then the anchor. And this tag. And then the small tags. They're pretty small right here. It would be good for making little price tags or whatever. And then this tag. They were $1.29 a piece. And uh, then I found some rubber stamps. The Studio G says, so sorry. It was 49 cents. And then this one says, say what? Woohoo! And it was also, four, it was either 49 cents or 50 cents, one of the two. And then this one that says, you are a superstar, that's what you are. And then with the star border. And then this one, it's really cute recollection one with some cakes and ice creams. It's really cute. And it, I don't remember if it rang up at $1.99 or, or less, but that's that. And then their Halloween um, embellishments were being clearanced out as well. And I picked up this one from Me and My Big Ideas. And uh, they were $1.29. 
and this alphabet chips stickers orange and black there's five pages of these and uh, they were also a dollar twenty nine and then these dimensionals from recollections and they were a dollar twenty nine as well I also got two skeins of loops and threads impeccable I got it in this green um, my knit project is not going to work with the, th the yarn that I'm using so I'm going to frog it and start over with this color instead and uh, it's called grass and uh, so that's that and the um, loops and threads impeccables were um, on sale two for six dollars so I also found some paper yeah two of these cat ones they are from recollections they were 29 cents and then this green one oh, it's not looks green but it's called blue floral and it's also from recollections I thought that was really pretty and that's all I picked up at Michael's and right next door was a Marshall's so I went over there and I got three of these repositionals um, I had always been passing up on these because I didn't understand at first what it meant by repositional I thought it would be something that would you know could always be repositioned but from what I understand it's just it gives you enough time to reposition what you're laying down and then after a little bit of time it becomes permanent so I picked up three of these and a pair of scissors um, I needed a new craft scissors for my um, yarn uh, not really happy with the pair that I was using because my finger kept getting stuck in it my thumb would and uh, so I got those for $1.99 um, I'm going to clear this away and go on to my oh actually I won't even do that it's right here. sorry um, from the pirates plunder I uh, didn't get anything piratey but uh, on their clearance thing these were $2.99 and they're on stretchy they've got um, two holes drilled in but I picked up three of them blue yellow and pink uh, and I'll probably reuse those for something else and then at shipwreck beads I picked up these um, skeleton skull beads they were $2.49 for this long strand um, I don't know how many pieces are here Two, four, six, eight, ten. 14, 16, 18, 20, 20 24, 26, 28, 30, 31 of these guys. And um, it'd be kind of hard to show you the other things that I got, but I'll do my best because they're all bagged up still. I got two of these. Uh, let me start and restart this to refocus it. All right. So these sun beads and then these spacer beads they've got like a pearl uh, rhinestone on them and then these spotted purple beads there and then I found this really cute let me separate it out a little bit this really cute turtle toggle and then this charm here says I love to crochet and uh, it's got a ball of yarn and a hook through it and then this really cute key charm right here and then in this little section right here are um, teapot um, bead toppers and then on this last one I found along with the strand of uh, skull beads I got two of the larger purple ones then these really pretty blingy beads here 
along with these two flower beads here. I got these here, these blingies to string in the middle of the flowers. I thought that was really pretty. But uh, that's what I purchased at Shipwreck Beads. And um, that's all I've got for right now. I'm going to show you what I got at Hobby Lobby next. Alright, so here's what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. A lot of it is yarn related. Um, simply because I don't have a Hobby Lobby near me yet. Although there's one coming in sometime the first of the next year. And uh, I wanted to get a head start on some of their yarn. I found this neon yellow uh, to go with the the black light. I really, really wanted to find some pink and blue that matched, but there still wasn't anything pink and blue. But their neon yellow is a pretty good match, so I picked that up. And then in their clearance, there was this from Yarn Bee Mimic Terra Rosa and it was a 251. I picked up two of those. Um, that's number two and I've already got it on my hook. Um, I really don't know if I'm going to keep this. I just uh, chained I think oh shoot I don't even remember how many I chained. Uh, it was like a hundred and something but um, and then I just double crocheted back and then I did a V stitch um, let's see where's okay so I did a, a V stitch on this side um, and then I came back around and I'm doing a V stitch on the other side so I don't know. I may not keep that. I'm not sure I'm happy with it. And um, then I found uh, this ombre pink camo. And the songbird stripe. And then this is called Somulent. It's got purple and browns in it. And this one's got like dark violet greens and browns on it. And then I found or got this uh, grape, grape et sparkle. And I also got Aunt Lydia's Crochet Classic 10 thread and it's in cream color. Um, from Also from that Hobby Lobby I picked up this Paper Studio 4 inch mini trimmer. They were um, either 40 or 50 percent off for their Paper Studio. So I picked that up. I also got this from Fashion Tidbits and there's two pretty sparkly studs that could be for some flower centers and then I found these two dice for $1.49 and it's not focusing just block dice to paint and uh, that was it from that Hobby Lobby and at the other Hobby Lobby I picked up from their clearance section these charms for 85 cents and they have an F on it for fizzy and then this one that has L's on it for my real name which is Laura and I really like those and then I got three packages of these bottle caps and metallic silver. Um, two pieces in each one for 44 cents a piece. And then these We Are Making Memories, or We Are Memory Keepers, I should say. Um, for $1.19, it's got 10 needles and it's to help thread in your 
ribbons and stuff like that. And the jewelry shop findings were on sale. Uh, either 40 or 50% off. I don't remember which. Um, just these uh, lever back earrings for a project that I'm doing. And then I picked up these, um, what do they call them? Sun catchers to paint. They were 18 cents a piece. So I got this dog, this teddy bear, and this frog. And um, a couple of videos back or so, I had picked up the paint that is used on those guys. Um, so there's that. And I also finally found the man piece, man, I they just call it man, um, eight pieces of these people pegs. And uh, they weren't on sale or anything, but uh, I've been looking all over for these guys. And uh, the Michaels in uh, my town, they had um, these guys, but the neck on them was a lot longer uh, than these guys. So, I picked up two of those. And on the yarn front, I picked up, I love this cotton, in ivory, I think, yeah, ivory, and in pale denim. Um, so that's my Hobby Lobby. also picked up several of those free patterns that they have hanging out near the, the yarn. I got this uh, cowl, it's called Holy Cowl, and then this poncho, these socks, and a purse, and then these ponchos, I might already have this somewhere, this blanket, and then this afghan. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's it for my Hobby Lobby. Um, I do have one more video to make. Uh, it's from a thrift store from uh, a couple weeks ago. The stuff that I had gotten at that thrift store got set aside and I forgot to show it to y'all. So uh, I'll be back hey with there. that. So this is my thrift store haul. <coughs> it's actually from two different thrift stores. And uh, I'll get right to it. First off, I found three packages of uh, seam binding. This uh, green one, a blue one, and this twill tape, um, white twill tape. They were 15 cents a piece. And then I found two packages of these cards that you put into a Rolodex. They were 50 cents a piece. And then my find of the day were these two wooden um, plaques, I guess is what they're called, plaques. They have a spot here drilled for hanging, um, but they're both flat on the back and have this edge on them. And one was marked at $5, and the thrift store was having a sale uh, fifty percent of the entire still except store except for furniture. Um, anything over a dollar that was, and uh, so uh, I got both of these. Uh, I got two of them for five dollars, and my plans for those are to turn it into um, um, book press. I also picked up. A bunch of uh, hanging file folders that I'm using to uh, store fabric pieces, remnants in my file cabinet. And I picked those up for um, two dollars. I think there was like I think there was like twenty five or so. I think there were twenty five of them for two dollars. So that was at that thrift store. And then at another one, I picked up some Stampin' Up. Uh, stamp spots, eggplant, and Bravo Burgundy, and always artichoke. Um, I think he gave these all, all these to me for 99 cents. And then I found a rubber stamp 
with a teddy bear with a heart. And then this teddy bear, it's a little girl teddy bear. Um, this one doesn't have the thing on it, but it is a picture of a cat here, along with some greenery. And then this up here says catnip. Oh, that was super cute. And then from Pebbles Ink, this chalk and craft eraser refill. I don't actually have this, but um, thought I'd get it and see how it works. Um, works with chalk, um, regular, and colored pencils. So, uh, see about that. And then this stack of Toy Story postcards. I think he gave them to me for 99 cents as well. It's just from different scenes in the movie Toy Story. Um, so I got that. And then this, I don't know what it is or what it was meant for, but it's just a, um, a spine book something or other. Sorry brain isn't operating well right now but um that um and then I found in their Halloween section these uh they had several of these but I only picked up two of them um but I think they're little vellum things kids can color it's like it's got Frankenstein in it I don't want to open them right now but uh this says there's one dozen so I picked up two of them. And then from Oriental Trading, uh, it's got three dozen bags. These bags? Yeah, I know, I need more bags. <laughs> but uh, that. And then this bag of erasers, a 60 pack, for 99 cents. It's not a savings from the store price, really. But um, for 99 cents, I got those for my son's classroom or for his birthday party. I'm not sure which. And then um, these stickers, just pumpkin stickers for 25 cents um, for each sleeve. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. And then I picked up. 12 of these guys uh, one with bats a ghost and a pumpkin um, so there's 12 total on these guys so there's two ghosts four bats and six pumpkins and these will go um, to the kids at my son's birthday party I think he invited 12 kids to his birthday party so we'll see what happens with that I also got, let's move some of this out of the way, I also picked up this sewing case, um, it was $3.99. Uh, but I got it half price, and uh, it came with all sorts of stuff in it. Um, yeah, there's uh, some spools of goodies. Um, this case has, I think it's a sewing kit. That miniature, yeah, it's a miniature sewing kit. Some spools, tiny spools. Um, there's some ribbon, some velcro. And then this case. Um, bobbin. Some fabric, um, a rivet setter, I think that's what that's called. 
some pens, a pencil, a spoon. Looks like a Gerber baby spoon. Silver plate. Um, some iron on the seam binding. Anyways, all sorts of sewing doohickeys in here. Got some elastic. Some, some sort of pattern on that, I guess. Some thread in that envelope. Some more elastic. In this bag, there was some of the this lace trim. Patches. Another ribbon. Anyways, it's a good little case. Oh, it's got this little tiny crochet hook up here as well. And some needles up here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Something to help you thread something. But, uh, yeah. I'll sort this out later. Um, so, yeah, I got that for $4. Oops. More things in there. At my local thrift store. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, um, welcome to all my new subscribers. I noticed I had gotten an influx of some new subscribers. I also have um, in the planning stages a giveaway challenge. So, um, be on the lookout for that in the next couple weeks, I think. Um, so, Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great afternoon, day, night, wherever you are. And uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.